Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about Samsung One UI 6.1.1. I'm going to show you guys how to activate some really great new hidden features. So over here I have Samsung UI 6.1 and this is 6.1.1. I just want to show you guys side by side the new hidden options available here that are not over here. So let's dive in and get started right away. So let me launch the gallery. I'm going to go to this one first. Uh, let's go to the gallery right over here. We have a bunch of albums. And then we have gallery and we have a bunch of albums. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap right over here in the settings menu. So let's go to the settings, all right? We go all the way down and you can see we have a, a hidden menu known as the gallery labs menu that you are able to enable on both of these phones which unlocks a whole bunch of hidden options I'm gonna show you in this video. However, with 6.1.1 we actually have some new features as you can see as opposed to this side right over here. So let's talk about all these features but let me quickly show you guys how to enable the gallery labs menu. So again go to the main settings like I did over here and then if you don't see this option if you have never enabled it then tap on about gallery and then simply tap on the version number several times. So when you tap on it several times at the bottom you are going to say that the gallery labs is being enabled as you tap on it so it's not going to do anything right now because mine is already enabled okay but when you tap on your version number it is going to go ahead and activate this option now what i want you guys to do is after you activate the option restart the gallery app so that we can start to use these features so let me show you the new features so over here we actually have a really nice usable feature and that is the slideshow with selected items slideshow auto repeat playback and a couple more things I'm going to show you guys so let's see what that is okay again you don't have it on 6.1 so I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to select an album let's just grab this one right here you can do this anywhere so when I select a bunch of photos let's select this one this one this one and this one now when I tap on the more button you see that we have a brand new option known as the start slideshow option. Now when I tap on it, it's going to take the four photos I've selected and it's going to start a slideshow. Look at this. And it's going to add music. So it's going to be really nice if you want to showcase a bunch of photos to your friends or family. So let's take a look at it. Fantastic. And again, once you're done, let me just kill the volume. You can tap on watch again. The music continues to play in the background, but you can do a watch again or you can X out. Now, one more thing that's really cool is, again, if I select a bunch of photos, let's just do five this time and tap on start slideshow. I am able to tap while it is playing and pause it if I want to. And, or if it's playing, I can kill the music. And on top of that, I can take this slideshow and convert that into a video. So I can tap over here and save this slideshow as a video. And maybe then I can share it with somebody. In fact, you can just tap on the share button. It's going to prep the story. And you are able to share it with anybody in your contacts list. So that's also fantastic. It's a related feature to the slideshow option. Okay, now the other thing you can do is if I go back over here into my settings and go to the gallery labs again, you can see there's an option that says slideshow auto repeat playback. So let's say that you are projecting your phone to a high definition TV wirelessly. You can now go in here. Let's go over here. I'm going to select three items. Okay, when you tap on more and start slideshow, because we have the repeat enabled, now at the end, we get a timer at the bottom. It says four, three, two, one, zero, and that's gonna restart the playback of my slideshow. But again, so that is actually fantastic, all right? Now let me show you the next thing that we don't have over here. So look at over here, when I tap on this button, you can see I have the menu on the top. That's the three dot hamburger menu that they call. So when you tap it, 
the options are right here. Now, what if you want this at the bottom for easier access when you have with uh, using the phone with one hand? If you want to access the settings at the bottom, you can now move it to the bottom. So let's go back over here and tap on the settings and go into the gallery labs and enable this option. And again, restart the app for that to take effect. Now, when I go back in here and go in over here, Look at this, I have the menu at the bottom instead of at the top, which is great, okay? Now, so you can actually move that menu to the bottom. And one more thing I wanna show you guys, if you go back here, and if you go into any album, let's, let's say you have an album of your kids or your family members, whatever, and you wanna do a quick slideshow of all of that album at once, you just go into the album, you tap on this button, and you can in fact tap on Start Slideshow, and that's gonna start a slideshow for that entire album, okay? And again, you can pause it, but in this case, you cannot save it or you cannot share it, all right? Now, this feature over here, I was not able to see exactly what that does. If you can figure that out, just let me know down below. I played with this a couple times, tried a couple things, did not seem to see anything new. So drop a comment down below, let me know if you have something happening with this one, I'm sorry, with this one right here. Now let's move on to the final feature. So if I go back over to my gallery, and I'm gonna show you this to you side by side. Let's go to the albums here. Let's just pick any photo. Let's just pick this photo and pick this photo. Now look at this. When I tap on this button here, I have the option to set as a wallpaper. When I click on it, I get five options. Now, on this one, when I tap on set as wallpaper, I actually get five plus three extra options. So you can see I can now set any photo in my album for the alarm background, calendar background, or reminder background right from the gallery. Now, if I were to go into my uh, calendar, let me just show you what's happening here. If I do go to my calendar, okay, and if I do go into my settings right over uh, here, okay, you can see at the bottom, I can pick alert backgrounds and I can go to the gallery to pick the backgrounds or I can just pick random ones from here. But now I can just go to the gallery and if there's something I like, I can set it as a calendar, reminder, or alarm background by default, as well as call but that is also available here. And look at this, I also have this one. It says set as watch face. And I think that you're gonna see if you have a watch connected to your uh, smartphone, okay? So that's about it guys with the new Gallery Labs feature. Gallery Labs has been around for a long time, but these are some new features that were added with 6.1.1. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.